Welcome to our video series on advanced techniques for web graphics. In this video we'll teach you about rotating and flipping images. In this video I'm going to talk you through how to rotate images and also flip them. You may find this functionality useful when dealing with certain types of images. Let me demonstrate how it works. First of all, in Irfan View, I've opened up an image, and if we go to the Image menu, the main options you see are Rotate Left, Rotate Right, and you can also Vertical Flip, Horizontal Flip, and there's also Custom or Fine Rotation. So first of all, Rotate Left does exactly what it says. If you notice the image as it is now, and then after we've rotated left, you see that it's rotated 90 degrees to the left. So let's rotate left again. And now it's upside down. Again. OK, and once more. And it should be back to the way it started. Rotate left. And there it is. And rotate right does the same thing in the opposite direction. Let's go back, rotate left to take it back to normal. You can also do flips. Let's do a horizontal flip, and you'll see how it looks now, and then how it looks after the flip. Effectively, it just reverses it horizontally. And you can change it back, horizontal flip, to take it back. And vertical flip is just the same, just in a different direction. So vertical flip, and it's upside down. And OK, back to image again, vertical flip, and it's back to the original. You can even combine them if you wish. You can do a vertical flip, and then a horizontal flip, and then rotate. So you can play around with that functionality if you wish, you may find it useful for certain images and certain looks. When you're done, you can just save, of course, and you have a new changed image. Obviously, if you want to keep your original image, and it's suggested that you do, then go to File, Save As, to ensure that you keep your original, and just save the changed image with a new name, and potentially in a different format. You can also do all this in GIMP and Paint.net. First, let's look at GIMP. And OK, there's the first GIMP window. And we need to open the second GIMP window. Click here, and there it is. What you can do, actually, is maximize this window, and it becomes a somewhat normal view, a somewhat normal work area. But it does hide the toolbox. The toolbox is the window here, and if you click there, it reappears. You can make your choice of tools here, for example, as you can see. OK, let's click here to take the focus back to the main GIMP window. There's our image. And if we go to the Image menu, the Transform submenu, and there are some options here. They're the same options, just worded slightly differently. So rotate 90 degrees clockwise, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, which is basically just rotating to the left, and rotating 180 degrees. So first of all, if we flip horizontally, if you notice how the image is and how it looks afterwards, and OK, just a straight horizontal flip, very straightforward. And we can change it back. Image, Transform, Flip Horizontally, and it's back. Image Transform, Flip Vertically, and OK, it's upside down. And to take it back, Flip Vertically again, and OK, it's back. OK, Image, Transform, and let's rotate it to the right, clockwise. And OK, let's Image, Transform, 
and this time rotate it 180 degrees, which would in fact be the same as rotating 90 degrees counterclockwise from where we started. So there it is, very straightforward as you can see. Slightly different descriptions and menu placement, but the same functionality. Finally, in Paint.net, and again, there's Paint.net open, and in the Image menu, flip horizontal, OK. Now, just as a side note, in most any software, if at any time you're not happy with what you've just done, just go to Edit, Undo, and it undoes the last change you've applied. There you go, you see that it instantly undid it. So now, Image, Flip Vertical, and let's do that again, and OK, it's back where it was. And interestingly here, it shows you a history. In Paint.net, it shows you a history of the actions you've taken. So for this window to appear, just go to the Window menu and click on History. Window Menu History, and it disappears. And Window Menu History again, and it reappears. But let's just tidy up the screen a bit and get rid of the History floating window for now. And let's get rid of the Layers floating window. And for now, perhaps even the Tools floating window. Here, the Toolbox. OK, that's cleaned up some screen space. So again, Image, and Rotate, Clockwise, Counterclockwise, that's Clockwise. And OK, Image, Rotate 90 degrees clockwise again. And image rotate 180 degrees, and we're back. So that's the rotate and flip functionality in Irfan View, GIMP, and Paint.net. You can see that even though the descriptions are slightly different, and the placements in the software are slightly different in each one, the functionality is exactly the same. So work with whichever piece of software you're most comfortable with because they all effectively work the same with these features. Obviously, you may find these features useful with certain images, and it can be a useful effect depending upon what kinds of images you're working with and the kinds of effects you're looking for. So it's a good feature and good functionality to become familiar with. And actually, it's always a good idea to have some demo images, such as I'm using here, and just play around with them and get used to working with the software and getting comfortable with the software, and seeing how you like different features, and seeing which ones would be useful to you.